My name is Carla Nye and I'm a clinical professor here at the School of Nursing. So nursing research to me is the, is the examination of the world around you and how it impacts humans, <laughs> how it impacts the way we function, how it impacts the way that we work, the way that we think, um, the way that we educate students. The term research really has to do with that curiosity and exploration into what makes people tick and what makes systems tick. It's really all about um, systematically exploring questions that you're curious about. I have been really involved in simulation, educational simulation research for years now. And I was drawn to simulation as an educator because of the incredible aha moments that I saw with students. I realized that this specific educational technique really made a difference in how they were learning and understanding, um, particularly because they're experiencing real life situations um, that felt real to them. Um, and then we had that time afterwards where we did this facilitated reflection. I have been have conducted several simulation research studies where we're looking at um, their performance. Does simulation change their ability to be able to perform in a clinical setting? Do we make a difference? Is simulation helpful? How does their understanding and learning change? as by using this particular pedagogy, because I'm working with the CEO of NOMF, uh, National Organization of Nurse Practitioner Faculty, and then the, um, the president of Anaxel, which is the Nursing Simulation Committee, and we literally are a team and we are planning this, this work. Um, my other research work right now is with a, um, a federal grant um, called the Strength and Caring Grant. And it comes out of this idea of the struggle that our healthcare providers were experiencing post-COVID. The struggle was there before, COVID just exaggerated it. And so in the Strength and Caring Project, at our baseline, we collect surveys every six months from um, from our participants and we're working with the Department of Surgery. So in that survey, again, we're looking at wellness and how people are feeling in their environment. So we are using a psychological safety tool from Amy Edmondson. We're using the Mini-Z um, from Mark Linzer. We are the Mini-Z is looking at perceptions of work environment. And it's really focused towards healthcare workers and in specific towards physicians, and, um, nurse practitioners and PAs. Um, and then we're looking at the Connor Davidson Resilience Score. So we're using three valid and reliable tools. We do it every six months. In our surveys, we're gathering information about <clears throat> what are those pebbles in their shoes? What is really causing the issues in their work environment that are making it difficult for them to really be able to flourish in their environment? So we take that data, we collate it, we kind of put it into a package, and then we come back to them and we talk to them. We do small focus groups and say, this is what we got from you written. Are we on track? Which of these are really causing the most issue? Not issue and then we plan quality improvement projects based on that. We've seen big increases in their sense of psychological safety, their sense of engagement, their positive view of their work environment. Someone is listening to them. Someone is listening to the problems that they're having and is working to do something about it and it's changing how they feel about their work environments.